Hi, let me see the different type of gauges. Here, these all are uh, three are limit gauges, and this one is ring gauge and limit gauges. Limit gauges are not a measuring gauge. They are used for inspection of tools for rigid design without a scale, which serves to check the dimensions of the manufactured parts be either within the prescribed limit or not. Control gauges do indicate the actual value of inspector dimensions on the work. By using the limit gauges, we can construct the P and C type of charts. These gauges are used in quality control department of the industry, mainly used to check the cylindrical holes and the thickness of identical component with the large numbers in mass production. Importance of the limit gauges to manufacture the component within specified limits to check the manufactured components are being within the upper and lower limit to manufacture part exceeds this limit that will be automatically rejected in mass production to check the parts are within the prescribed limit or not with a less time Taylor principle in 1789 to 1864 Roger Robert used the plug and collar gauges to inspect the part dimensions and 1857 Joseph White demonstrated the use of internal and external gauges for soft based limit system and 1905 William Taylor explained the concept of relationship between the two process of checking components this is the evolution of gauges the Taylor explained the principle this principle are used in design of smooth limit gauges this principle is based on the use of correct system of limit gauges to inspect soft and holes. According to Taylor, it is not adequate to use simple go gauge on outer dimensions only. But shape is an important factor. He insisted that not only the gauges to check the dimensions and shape is also an important factor. Also, he stated that go gauges should check all the possible elements of dimensions at a time and the no go gauges should check only one element of the dimensions at a time. Go and no go gauges should be designed to check the maximum and the minimum material limits of component. Did we see the differences and comparison between goal limit and uh, no goal limit goal limit limit of the two limit size which corresponds to the maximum material limit consideration no goal limit is a limit of two limit size which corresponds to the minimum material limit consideration did we see whole basis system the maximum limit of the hole, this one, suppose the allowance that is limits are allowed, the material is added and this one is the minimum limit of hole, this one is the soft, the, this one is the minimum limit of the soft, the material is added, this one is the maximum limit of the soft. Now, see. Go gauges is minimum limit of the hole. This one is the hole. The minimum limit of the hole, the go gauges should enter. Go gauges is maximum limit of the soft. This is the maximum limit of the soft. The go gauges should enter on the maximum limit. Then no go gauge is maximum limit of the hole. This no go gauges should not enter into the maximum limit of the hole. No go gauges is minimum limit of the soft. This one is the minimum limit of the sub. This no go gauges should not enter to the minimum limit. See now, go gauges. First, go gauges is minimum limit of the hole. They should enter into the hole. Then, second one, go gauge is maximum limit of the soft. This is the maximum limit of the soft. 
go gauges should enter on the maximum limit of the saw next no go limit no go gauges is maximum limit of the hole this is the maximum limit of the hole the no go gauges should not enter into the hole no go gauges is minimum limit of the shaft this is the minimum limit of the shaft this no go gauges should not enter let me see the classification of gauges according to the type standard gauges limit gauges go and no go gauges according to the purpose workshop gauge inspection gauge reference or master gauge according to the design single limit and double limit gauges single ended double ended gauges and fixed and adjustable ended gauges according to the forms tested surfaces plug gauges for checking the holes snap and ring gauges for checking the shaft gauges for checking the taper gauges for checking the thread gauges for checking the forms let me see the plug gauges double ended plug gauges and progressive type plug gauges in double ended plug gauges go end will be one side and no go end will be one side in progressive type plug gauges go end and no go end both are will be one side of the plug gauge so we can measure by using these gauges this progressive ga gauges will take less time compare with the double ended plug gauges pin lock plug gauges taper lock plug gauges segmental plug gauge and single end plug gauge last one is a taper plug gauge these are the type of plug gauges let me see the ring gauges ring gauges are made of suitable wear resisting material such as steel tungsten carbide and gauging surfaces are hardened up to 720 wickers harness tungsten carbide ring gauges are manufactured from inner diameter 3.5 to 60 mm steel ring gauges and master ring gauges are manufactured from the inner diameter of 1 mm to 200 mm these gauges are protected by steel casting to protect the inner surfaces these are used to measure the outer diameter of the shaft by inserting the component into the ring gauges if the work passes through the go ring then the work piece is good for its lower limit size if the work does not passes through the no go ring the work piece is okay for the higher limit size it's very effective to check out of roundness on the higher side master setting rings are used to determine the rings deviation from the master size snap gauges snap gauges are also called as gap gauges these are made of the standard tolerance and materials of tungsten carbide let me see the types single ended progressive type double ended type adjustable frame type split type and customer specified single end snap gauges it's a popular gauge snap gauge for fast gauging the front portion of the gauge is the go member see here this is this one is a go member which passes through the work work piece which has to be checked as a gauging side into the work piece that reaches the no go member area where it stops the sliding the work piece will pass between the these two uh, surfaces the this this one is called no go limit the object will not cross over this no go limit thus in one pass the inspector can know the work piece is under the inspection of special size or not double ended snap gauges it has go at one end no go in other end gauges to be inserted in each side of the object in special limit it is comparatively slow slow method gauging and it is more reliable adjustable snap gauge 
This one is the adjustable snap gauge. We can adjust the dimensions. It offers the flexibility of building up our own gauging within the any size in specific range. It is preferred where the number of components to be inspected as less and more variety of the size to be inspected is more. Sizes 0 0.5 to 4 mm in split type design, 4 mm to 160 mm in single ender progressive type or double ender progressive type, 0 0.5 mm to 360 mm in adjustable type design, custom stamp gauge. These gauges are built to our own specifications developed from our power drivings designed to meet our specific needs care for gauges use gauge into or on a pod being checked store gauges in secure location preferably in individual compartments or containers gauges should be dipped in an oil wax based seal or coated with a rust preventive prior to storing pack gauges separately Coated with rust preventive with a sufficient packing material to avoid the damage. These are the references. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and share with your friends.